Now, look at this one, and then the next one is, this is what Jesus says in Matthew 6. Okay? So this is, this is the New Testament. But look at, look at the similarity between this and the other one. He says, do not, le do not let your right hand know, your left hand know what your right hand is doing. It has to be in secret. Now, the other one said, leave it over there. You, you leave it there, the person who picks it up doesn't know who gave it. The person, the person who, is, who is given it doesn't know who's picking it up. You see? That's complete lack of prejudice on the part of the person who's given it. Okay? Now, now let's look at the, the last one. The last one is the Quran, 2177. It says that righteousness is not turning your faces towards the east or the west. It's not just prayers. Okay? But it says, on the contrary, righteous are those who believe in God, the last day, the angels, the scripture, and the prophets, and they give their money in spite of loving it to the fatherless, to the relatives, to the fatherless, the poor, the refugees, the beggars, and to free the slaves. Okay? So you see the similarity between these? Okay? I mean, it's absolutely amazing. But, but I'm, just, I'm just trying to say that. That we have to, to, to broaden our horizon. We have to listen to the other side. Okay? And so, so it's, it's, very, it's very clear from these verses that they are all coming from the same place. They're coming from God. This is what God is advocating. Okay? So let me just conclude here. According to the mathematics introduced in these talks, the Quran and the scriptures in general have always existed beyond the dimension of physical universe in which we live in. Ultimate mathematics took the form of a book called the Quran nearly 1400 solar years ago. Now, as I mentioned, okay, the idea about this is that not only it confirms the history which is narrated in the Quran, okay, the history of Jesus, the history of Moses, the history of Pharaoh, it also confirms what happened in the past. So it's, it's incumbent upon us okay, to believe in all scriptures. Okay. So Ottoman mathematics took the form of a book called uh, the Quran nearly 1400 years ago. It can therefore be concluded that the Quran is a literal embodiment of the Ottoman mathematics. It can only be authored by God. So let me just read this one because of the unification of message that God has sent. He says, he decreed for you the same religion that he decreed for Noah, and what we inspire to you is the same as what we decreed to Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. You shall uphold this religion and do not be divided. In it. Your call is, is heavy to bear for those who set up partners for God. God alone is not enough for them. Okay? So they need a partner for God. God chooses for himself whomever he wills, and guides to himself those who repent, those who admit that they violated the equilibrium that God has created, that they did not obey natural laws. Okay? So this is, this is, this is, uh, uh, this is what, what God is saying, that there are, there are not many religions, there are just one religion. And that religion means to be at peace with God. Okay? That's what the meaning of Islam is, to be at peace with God. That's why the Jews, they actually offer shalom, which means peace. That's why Muslims say salam, which means peace. That's why Jesus was called Prince of Peace, because he offered peace. Okay? So these are, these are very interesting things that we have to look into okay? before we jump to conclusion. And, and as I say, go with ignorance instead of the facts that are available. And uh, let me also mention this then. Our response is much higher because, because at, at this age, we're literally information is at our fingertip. Okay, that we can actually go to Google, for example, and Google some subject like all of these stuff that I told you. Okay, these tables and stuff you can actually get them from from uh, uh, all these Wikipedia or or Warframe Math or or whatever. Okay, but you can get this information. Okay. It's not hidden. Okay. So our response is much higher to verify things. And that, that actually, there's a verse in the Quran that says that do not accept any information unless you verify. So it's responsible because God has given us the, the brain, the eyesight, and the, and the hearing. And we are responsible to use our senses. Okay. 
So everything has to be has to be um, uh, done in that in that way. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I conclude it here.